Hey guys, I'm here with another video. Today, we are playing Five Nights at Freddy's Hell Quarters again. Part 3. Yup, yup. Okay, let's see. What do we want to do this episode? He's not here. Last video, I s found out what this does. I don't want to go over there. So let's see. Let's do parts and service. Let's see what Mari has to offer. Okay. Let's see what the, this. Grab and release, push buttons, make repairs. Sure. Um. Welcome back to parts what, and service. Giant? Oh no. It looks like Bonnie's guitar is out of tune and must be recalibrated. It is? First, we must access his harmonization module located inside his secondary throat pipe. To Oops. access the throat pipe, both eyes must first be removed. Okay. You must be as precise as possible when removing the eyes from their respective sockets. Yeah. First, firmly grip Bonnie's left eye and carefully remove it from its socket. His left or my left? Is it my left? What did I do? What did I do? <laughs> Okay, well, let's try this again. I think it's his left. I don't know. Okay, let's try his left. Welcome back to parts and service. Oh no, it looks like... Great job. There we go. Deposit the left eye in the cleaning receptacle on your left. Are these cleaning receptacles? Well done. Now, firmly grip Bonnie's right eye and carefully remove it from its socket. His right eye? Deposit the right eye in the click. Good job. To open Bonnie's faceplate, carefully press the two buttons located on either side of Bonnie's jaw. When done correctly, you should hear two small clicks. Well done. Hey, you man. now have access to Bonnie's harmonization Come module. On. Press the blinking button inside Bonnie's secondary throat pipe to enter calibration mode. This? Something is not right. One of those notes is out of tune. You may push one. the button again to replay the audio check. That was the second one. Press that the colored button that, that corresponds to the incorrect note. Right? Press it the blinking button one. again to verify your work. Great job. Bonnie is in tune and ready for his solo. Let's close him up. Simply replace both eyes in the same order that you removed them, then close up the faceplate and we'll call it a day. Okay, same order, so I can't do that. Okay, whatever. Well done. We're that good. concludes your parts and services task. See you next time. Can I take your eyes out? Okay, well, let's do this. What is this? Foxy Cove Cooler. Why do I eat a drink? That makes no sense. Anyways, let's do the next parts and service. What's the next one? Parts and service Chica. Okay. Guessing we also have to do Foxy and Freddy? Okay. Alright, let's see. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Uh -huh. There have been customer complaints about Chica's acrid smell. Ooh, Sounds like Chica has been rummaging around the kitchen again. Remove all food particles from Chica's exterior and place it in the refuse bin on your right. Okay. I got all of them? No, I didn't. Okay. Good job. Make sure Chica is not hiding any other treats inside her beak. Her to beak? open her beak. Carefully press the two buttons located on the sides of Chica's head. Again? Oh no. It looks like ah. Chica has picked up some unwanted friends. To clear the infestation, apply the Fast Bear Entertainment Restaurant Grade Chemi Spray to reach. Chica's exterior. Press the button under the hanging canister to activate the Chemi Spray. This? Avoid inhaling the Chemi Spray. Exposure to cleaning, disinfecting, and maintenance chemicals may result too. in respiratory problems, skin, or eye irritation. Good I job. I saw you move. Now reattach Chica's upper arm 
hand, and cupcake plate. Sure. Well done. Oh no, it looks like Chica needs move? another dose of the chemi spray. Did you move Do again? not let the infestation spread. Be sure to give the canister button another push as needed. Return the cupcake Where do you go? to Chica's plate. Cover. Cover. There you go. Great job. Chica Whoa. is ready to serve pizza and hugs to the kids again. Take a complimentary slice of pizza for a job well done. Where's the pizza at? Oh, there it is. Okay. Can I get Chica pizza? Go on. Take it. Yeah, I can. Delicious. See you next time. Hi, Carl. Okay, well, that was pretty easy. Let's see what I get. What is this? Exotic beverage. That's pretty cool. I was hoping for exotic butter. Let's see which one is next for parts and service. Freddy. Oh, Freddy's next. Okay. Uh, Welcome back to Parts and Service. It looks like one of our guests left a personal item on our star attraction. My head Let's decided Let's return it to, to the lost and found. Carefully, grab and remove the child's hat from Freddy's mouth. There it is right here. No. Freddy's got a pretty good look. Good job. Oh, okay. Now place the hat in the lost and while we're at it, let's make sure there isn't anything else stuck inside. Ooh, coin. To access Freddy's chest cavity, grab Freddy's bow tie and pull it outwards. <coughs> well done. Freddy's chest cavity is There's now open. Watch. Remove There's the child's watch and place it Shoot. in the lost and found bin. Be careful. No! That was a horrible jump scare. <laughs> I dropped the watch. Why did I drop the watch, man? <laughs> Mwah. Okay, let's speed run this. Welcome back to part Freddy's good job. Now please, while well done. Freddy's chest cavity is now open. Remove the child's there good go. job. It appears there is a child's shoe wedged behind Freddy's music box. The music Where's box music must be box? removed before you can access the child's shoe. Gently grasp the music box and extract it carefully. Place the music box on the work. Great job. There you go. To reset the safety latch, press the button located on Freddy's endoskeleton. That. Now, remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin. There we go. Well done. Return the music box to Freddy's chest cavity and we'll call it a day. Say one? Okay. Oh no. Oops. You seem to have mishandled Whoa. Freddy's wait, music wait, box. Wait, wait, wait. This wait, wait. Is it not was good. I'm just joking. A replacement it. may be found on the work table. I'm just joking. A slow and even pace is recommended. Crisis averted. To close Freddy's there chest cavity, press the large black button on the center of Freddy's face. His nose? Oh, I've always wanted to do this. That concludes your time in parts and service. It's your pain will be docked no accordingly. Oh, shucks. <laughs> okay, well, we did Freddy. I'm assuming Foxy's next. <laughs> so did Rowdy. That's pretty cool. Okay, well, let's see what, uh... What the next parts and services? Who knows? Foxy. Okay, I was expecting Foxy because of all four of them. Okay. Start game. Uh huh. Welcome back to parts and service. Wow. Foxy has been out of commission for quite some time. This series of simple repairs should return him to full working condition. First, carefully pick up Point. and place Foxy's head on his endoskeleton. No coin? Okay. First of all, 
Why is Foxy the only one that actually looks different? Oh no. It looks like the Fox's other ones just servo motors are malfunctioning. Body and Chica only had buttons on that made them look different. Times. Freddy we'll looks completely normal, in the but Foxy on the other hand continue. has fuses Retrieve on his fuse leg, from drawer number chest, one that matches Foxy's leg or torso. Inside to avoid his, bodily harm, wait for Foxy's chest. legs to stop moving and is on before his arm. inserting the control fuse. Did you say this? Which one did you say? Okay, this one matches. Good job. It's Foxy has weird. regained control of his legs. A gentle okay. reminder, it is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy. Where'd he go? Where'd Foxy go? Oh. What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Please tell me what did I do wrong. What did I do wrong? I don't know what I did wrong. Welcome back to Parts and Oh no. It looks like Foxy's proprietary servo motors are malfunctioning. It is recommended that you keep an eye on Fox. Good job. Foxy has regained control of his legs. A gentle reminder, it is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. Oh no. It looks like a former employee oh, no. attempted to repair Foxy's oh, chest no. using an oh, incorrect no. fuse. Carefully, remove Where, the incorrect fuse from Foxy's chest and insert it into Foxy's upper arm receptacle. Okay. Stop moving. Well done. The remaining chest fuses are located in drawers number two and number four. Fix both fuses to continue. This one? Stop moving. Be nice if you would stop moving. Thank you. This one. Whoa, buddy. Chill. Good job. Chill out. Chill out. Retrieve Foxy's eye from drawer number three. When Foxy's eye patch is fully open, place the eye back into his eye socket. That's red. This one? Yeah, that's the right one. Well done. There we this go. concludes all your parts and service tasks. Pirate Cove can now be Yay. Okay, well that was pretty easy. Except the fact that I died for no reason. Chica Chug. I thought that was the exotic beverage. Uh, uh, um. No, let's go to the price counter. I got a fan. It's my biggest fan, man. Yay. Let's go, guys. It's my only action figure? Okay. I got a lot of food. I do not know why. No toys. Okay. Well, that's okay. Well, we finished parts and service. So, uh... Are we... Is it just me or does he get closer? Let's see what that, uh, the tape, I think I got two tapes or three, two or three. I got two, okay. This one. Have you ever heard of a guillotine paper slicer? It nope. sounds made up, but it's an actual piece of office equipment. I didn't even know we had one in the supply room. I guess the more common at businesses that do a lot of graphic design work. I remember seeing one when I was still in school, and even then, I knew how dangerous it looked. I was always afraid of losing a finger. That seems so silly now. Jeremy used to do design work. I guess that's how he knew it was there. Bump, bump. The drawers have been emptied out. Someone was here. I don't think it was spring cleaning either. No, there was plastic on the floor. 
Someone was definitely here during the night. It had to have been the client. I mean, they sent us that stuff in the first place with no explanation, told us to scan it, said it would expedite the process so we wouldn't need to program any pathfinding ourselves. It was a budget thing, I guess. It was just junk. Circuit boards and things like that. Looked pretty old. Somehow, though, there was usable code on some of it. It seemed to take hold by itself. Things started changing. But then, he started appearing. Who's he? At least that's what Jeremy said. Who is he? I'm not listening to any of this, but I heard that last part. Is it him? I assume it is him. What is, what is this button? What does that button do? Well, um, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.